Hey guys, my name is Akipa, and welcome to Akipa Plays Thomas Was Alone. This is a game that I recently picked up in the Humble Bundle, uh, number 8, and it looks really cool. I've seen Nerd Cubes play quite a bit of it. I personally haven't played any of it, but it seems to be very cool. So, I'm going to be kind of quiet through it, not because it's, it's particularly late here, um, but the voice acting and narration in the game is just fantastic. So, we're going to click new game. And the music too. Okay. Thomas was alone. First thought to have. And we move with the up, down, left, right, or WSAD, which I'm using. Both work. And you just got to get to the box. That's all you got to do. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. So, as you can see, one. The whole alone thing. Two. Portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. <laughs> Three. Falling. Thomas was absolutely <laughs> fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Thomas is pretty fantastic at falling. Look at him go. So that's the game telling you that you don't take fall damage. And this is the little portal he was on about. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Nope. Think, damn it, think. <laughs> what if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. So we can jump up on here? It worked! Thomas Assisting. had solved the great inverted fall mystery. Achievement for one, I'm not sure. So that's level is basically telling you you can jump. I thought this looked really cool, though. I, I do quite like it. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Made that first time. <laughs> oh look, there's a this cube thing. This seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Does this mean I shouldn't jump in the water? He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so. Yes. This all seemed a little Let's dangerous. Let's see what, if I grab the, the black world. thing. This yeah, it's not there. Okay. A little dangerous. Oh. The world was not to be trusted. I guess that's what he means by the world's not Stay. to be trusted. And it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right which might, or might not, be important. Up and to the right, like a true platformer. This one looks very vertical. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. <laughs> so now it's telling us that the world is going to get obviously harder as we progress through the game. The levels are going to get Something more difficult. About the boiling, toxic, glowing water. <laughs> he didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Oh. He made another mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. <laughs> See, I really like this. The narration is just like 
spot on. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Oh, Thomas. He's a friend. It was this way, won't it? Oh, no, I missed. It's fine. smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become <laughs> spontaneous a generation. jumper. Yeah, we're getting quite good at jumping. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Oh, Tom. Oh. This level's kind of funky. Let's hope we can get him a friend soon. Oh, what's this? I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told the idea this would never happen. Overlapping scripts, more than one AI was bound to be spawned into an environment at some point. Turns out I missed the point. That little error changed everything. Okay. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rector. <laughs> Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? It's me. See, I can't jump on my own. I need Thomas to help me. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Ooh, get you. Graceful. Well, not actually. Definitely <laughs> be graceful. Probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Oh. Good Tom. He's getting happy. He's going to get a friend. Well, currently, Christopher's not really a fan, is he? Maybe we can get him to like us. That'd be nice. Hey! You out the way. There we go. Not so bad, was it? Let's go down here. Oh. There we go. He's in his box. Now let's move little Thomas over to his. There we go. Into the portals. 1.3. Music's really cool. Okay, this was more like it. A glowy white thing. <laughs> Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? It gives Thomas. Great, great. Another chance for <laughs> Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously. This made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. So we've got to do that. Oh. Um. Not fitting that little hole there. There we go. See, Tom has to help him up. a little deeper noise as well. Oh, Christopher, that is. There we go. Oh, what's this? Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. 
Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Hmm. Guess we have to do it this way. He'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly <laughs> higher platforms. <laughs> sort of his point. Oh, I knew it was that one. We can use Thomas to put on the car. Damn it. Oh, I knew I'd done that. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Basically, you have to use your direction before you jump, rather than, like, jumping up in the air and then holding down the direction. That way you sort of move better, it seems. Oh, I completely forgot what I was doing. There we go. One point five. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. Oh, Chris. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. I'm helping you out, Chris. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, oh, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. <laughs> he hoped the next portal would split oh. them up. If only for a few levels. Oh no, Chris. <laughs> oh god, no, I don't know. I guess I've got to be patient, haven't I? Chris over here is having a great time. There we go. So it goes to the middle, and then it floats to the right. There we go. That's better. There we go. Good job. Can't get you up there. This guy can. So I guess this guy's got to go up here, while that guy's got to go down. Well, down he goes. That's it, Chris. Good lad. You can do it. There you go. So now I've got to get onto this jumping puzzle here, onto this moving platform. Just like that, really. There we go, that weren't too bad. Uh, there we go. Not too bad, eh, Chris? We're doing good. We're doing good things. Oh, who's this? <laughs> John knew. John. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. Okay, so... This guy's got to be here. This guy's got to go here. Oh, no, you say, like, there. And you've got to go right in that gap there. There we go. Teamwork. Good old John. This would not do. John needed room to show off his <laughs> exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? <laughs> come on, Chris, keep up. There we go. Uh-oh. John inhaled the air oh, he can, of the he open can space, and it smelled of awesome. It smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John was nice. for his new allies. Oh, good. John's a friend. You could tell from the the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. <laughs> oh, John. 
I like John already. John's great. Makes him all happy over there. Chris, look at him leaving in the huff while he can. But he's got to wait. He needs he needs Thomas's help. Got those tough jumps. There we go. Now we're all reunited. Let's jump down here, I guess. That's safe. Wait for me. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Chris, John landed on his Thomas's head. Oh, look at him go. Come on, Chris. Oh, you do need help there. You're going to need help on this one, though, aren't you? Yeah, I thought so. So you can hop on over there to your portal. Whereas Chris over here can slice through the middle. Not a problem. Little Thomas might just be able to... No, little Thomas. John, you've got to help him out, man. I think he. There we go. Ah, oh, they're all safe now to the next level. If you guys haven't, by the way, checked out Humble Indie Bundle number eight, there will be a link in the description where you can do just that. <laughs> Can't quite make that. Oh, what's this? John can lift up that guy. Not when he's like that, though. Hmm. What about for both of them? Oh. Christopher just doesn't want to play games, does he? There we go. to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Ah, oh, good. John's going to come over here. He can clear it, no problem. Oh, how do we get Chris up here? Right, Paul Thomas. <laughs> All alone. But now he's got friends, so it's okay. I hope it's okay. All the way. It's gotta be you, like that, then you. Oh, you can reach alone. One. Oh, now there's a platform that apparently he can just fit under. Okay, so let's do those one at a time. Let's get Thomas up. Oh no, but we can't get Thomas up because we need, we need this guy. Oh, whoops. This is awkward. Okay. 
you need to be on there. So that you can reach to get on there. And you as well. Let's send these he two together. Mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumps. <laughs> See, Thomas is a good friend. I was just gonna get the other guy. I'm scared. John. To <laughs> help them out up there, because it seems like they might be in a bit of trouble. There we go. So now we're gonna get this guy here. Like that. Well, he might be able to make that. No. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He can't make it. Poor guy. Oh no, I fell off. That's okay. The angry orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. <laughs> tutting. He seems like the sort of square that would tut about everything. Mm. Mm. You know? Oh no, John, come back. Need some help over here, friend. There we go. <laughs> there we go. One. A bit more complicated. This was interesting. Ooh. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. Oh, John no. was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Oh, it's okay. John can sort of sit in the middle. So we can get this guy over here. John can sort of act like a support beam in the middle there for Chris. There we go. what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reap. Alright. I think I cut off some of the narration there, but uh it's so good. Oh, how are we gonna do this? Oh, like that. Whee! <laughs> the hero Thomas needs. Oh, is that a big green thing? Like or maybe it was the blue bit. The initial group possessed simple variations in size and strength. More complex configurations were inevitable. As the era spread, these variations became, became increasingly... I missed it. Was how Claire would die. Oh no, Claire. She knew it would happen eventually. Oh, Claire. She was rubbish at jumping. Oh. And she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. Oh no. Wait, where do I go? The crumbling pillar was... A dramatic death, you <laughs> suppose. I suppose it is. Wait, what? Oh, Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. <laughs> it was at that moment that Claire realised she had superpowers. <laughs> oh, Claire! This this She's game. A cape. There was no getting around that. You. Couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. Just gonna have you to saw a cape. cape, that made matters clear. Oh, you knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. Can I do this without jumping? It looks you know, like I might be able to, yeah. Floating in water, which was her superpower. 
Just good superpower, floating in water. There we go. Oh, look at her. It's amazing. Alright. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. <laughs> Claire happy. needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. Yeah, Claire's not a great superhero name, is it now? I mean, it's a good name, just not for maybe for a superhero. Super Claire. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Super swimmer. Claire arrived just in time. It was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. <laughs> oh, okay. The water's rising because it's raining. It's okay because Claire can hold on to Thomas and look after him, like the superhero that she is. As the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle <laughs> in as many restarts as it took. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, we've got to get that. Claire wondered if no, it's not going to happen, is it? Good sidekick. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? She's like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. <laughs> oh, Claire. I can't stop saying ah oh, about the they're, they're squares, man. But, but they're really cool squares. I wonder if Chris will like her. Probably not. The others told Claire that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. Hmm. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. It's overcomplicated it. Thomas gone, I wonder. What's he getting up to? Don't do it. There we go. Whoa, barely made it then. So we can have a boat with Claire. She can conquer the water. This guy, John, can have a nice little sail across. Oh. Ooh, be careful with that. There we go. This is so cool. We've got four of these little squares now. Look at them. Probably needed a nemesis. Yeah, a nemesis. A villain who would show their true colours at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious. <laughs> he seemed stroppy enough, and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yes, Chris, diabolical Chris, the fiendish Christopher. Um. Oh, it, it just sort of makes me go down more. Okay. Wonder if this will work. Oh no, it could be yellow one. It only works with Chris. Oh, whoops! So I kill him. Oh, barely works. Is this one meant to be doing.
Maybe not. It seemed to work well for him, though. Oh, and all the water's gone. Well, to a point. Meaning we can... Oh, you see there. Get Thomas and John all the way down to safety, where they belong. There we go. I'm actually. Where's Chris gone? Was he off somewhere? Plotting <laughs> Claire's downfall? <laughs> Claire was honest. She had to be because she was a superhero. Yeah. This was a troubling turn of events. Hmm. No doubt. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. Yeah. Superheroes. I kind of want to, just in case you guys want to play this game, I highly recommend you do, just from playing it for this, what, half hour? It's really cool. I'll just let these guys plummet down there. I mean, I don't know whether it's good or bad down that hole. Just send them in before we send Superhero Claire. She can always save them, just in case it's not safe. Look at Thomas storming ahead. Yeah, I'm going to finish it here because I don't want to ruin it for any of you that might... Ah! There we go. Any of you that might want to play the game, I don't want to go too far into it because I don't know how long the game is. I mean, I'm obviously nowhere near, but it's starting to get interesting. So, I'm going to leave you here. Thank you for watching. Um, Moving platforms over water, eh? Oh, look at Claire. Claire's newly heightened senses. She told it. her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations <laughs> of the little posse. Good. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. My name's Billy Keeper, and uh, if, I hope if you want to see more, there's going to be more. Maybe not Thomas alone. There's going to be more other things on the channel. Don't worry. And there'll be more videos coming out soon because I have my final exams and to stay a couple of weeks' time. And so after that, we will have a couple of months. They were doing. Oh no! I killed well. them both. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Oh, Thomas! Yeah, I'm just going to complete this one, I think. But yeah, I've got exams in a couple of weeks, and after that, we are pretty much good to go as far as videos are concerned. Stop pushing me around. Uh-oh. Oh, don't know what happened then. Claire, you got to come and save Thomas. He's been a bit of a fool. Thank you for watching, more videos very soon, maybe a slow week or so, but after that, lots more Keepers Adventures, got big plans for Blockshock, it's going to be great. Currently Blockshock applications are open, probably should have mentioned this earlier, just in case you know, some of you haven't stayed to the end, but if you have, Blockshock applications are open, you can have a look in the description, there's a link to Dezo's video, where he tells you how you can apply to potentially get a place on the Blockshock server, play with me and the guys. So, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.